What's good guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I have some more great quality quarantine content for you guys. I'm at Maserati Alfa Romeo Daytona Beach right there, but I'm on the used side, the used vehicle side, because I have a rare unicorn in front of us today. This is a Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio with white wheels. That is right. Now, let me tell you guys the backstory about this. You guys have seen this specific Quadrifoglio on the channel ago about a year. Uh, it's, I think it's been about a year since it's been on the channel. Now, this car was actually traded in by the client, and they got something very different, very on the other end of the spectrum when they traded in and got a new vehicle. Now, with that said, I want to tell you guys about the mileage and the price on the used Quadrifoglio and the specs and everything that you need to know about this specific model. But it's a very rare car to have on the channel. We haven't even gotten a 2020 Stelvio Quadrifoglio yet, let alone having this 19 in front of us with a very unique one-off spec. Now this owner has a history with Alfa Romeo. He's actually had two Trofeo White Julia Quadrifolios for 2019. One of them he crashed and he ended up getting another one and then the second one he traded in for the Stelvio Quadrifolio but it had the normal five spoke wheels on it before. The dark hole wheels is what it had on it before but he ended up changing them to white. He also had a pinstriping done along the side which the dealership did remove on the Stelvio Quadrifoglio, I guess to make it a little bit more friendly for resale value. And I definitely would agree. It was a white and green pinstriping, which was, you know, nice to the, you know, Quadrifoglio badge and a contrast to that. Yeah, I get it. But they ended up taking that off. I think it'll do a lot better with the regular white wheels on it and the black spec. Um, it's something that not everybody's gonna like, but I have to highlight it on the channel because it's really that we have a Stelvio Quadrifoglio, yet a one-off spec. And with it being a pre-owned vehicle, hey, it might be something that you guys might be in the market for. And this has only been used for less than a year. So before we check out the engine and that quad exhaust, let's take a spin around this spec because brand new, this will cost you about 80,000 US dollars. Now, with that said, you have the volcano black paint on it. You can see the sparkles in it. It just looks phenomenal, guys. Really shows the lines in the Stelvio Quadrifoglio very well. A nice glimmer, tons of color in there. It just pops like crazy. You do see the Q4 badge on the back because the Stelvio is an all wheel drive. All right, you will also see, again, I mentioned those quad pipes down there. Very aggressive rear bumper, um, honeycomb grill on the sides, rear where the sensors are, it is not functional, but down the center, you can see that it is a functional rear grill. Now on the sides here, you will see those big fender flares there all right it gives you that better stance you will see the tires as we talked about brembo brakes drilled rotors yellow calipers with a black script and you can also see the pirelli p0 tires 285 40 r20s on these and they look crazy all right but you already seen the white wheels you see the quadrifoglio badge this thing just looks incredible the hood with the gills here up front on each side and those are functional as well and then same aggressive front fascia that you're used to you can see the intakes on each side a lot more lines to the body a lot more you know just raw meanness and the front fascia of this it just makes it look so so intimidating, so sinister. Um, by Z9 headlights that you're used to with the LEDs to wrap around, nothing has changed as far as the front of this compared to 2020, but we haven't gotten a 2020 Stelvio on the lot yet here, and it is April, but with the pandemic going on, it has pushed some of our cars back for delivery, so they're not coming until a little bit later, unfortunately, with the factories and everything not running. But with that said, we've seen the outside. You guys have seen this spec you've seen the white wheels again in the trofeo paint you've seen the monochrome center cap all right sunroof or panoramic roof to go all the way back black roof rails everything like that tin it up i mean this thing is phenomenal looking now, here's where it gets really interesting if you don't know about this engine underneath the strut bar going down the center 505 horsepower out of this twin turbo v6 at 443 foot pounds of torque all right that takes you up to zero to 60, 3.6 seconds. All right, that all wheel drive kick said, and you're gone. And then you have the top speed of 176 miles per hour. That is incredible. For an SUV, for something that just takes off like this, it is something that you just can't put into words. We've driven these before, they're just so thrilling, so powerful. 
so passionate. You can hear it, you can feel it, and by God, this is one of those celebrated engines that I'll never forget. We should probably listen to this breathe a little bit. Let's take it into race mode. Let's step inside of the Stelvio Quadrifoglio and see what our interior spec looks like. Now there's not too many options with the Stelvio Quadrifoglios or Julia Quadrifoglio models, but the biggest thing here is, you guys are used to me now showing the 2020 models and the 2019s are a little bit switched up for a few things, like the steering wheel, all right? Different steering wheel for 2019 because this is the steering wheel that the Stelvio Quadrifoglio came out with. Same with the other Stelvios back in 2017. So what we have is the leather wrap steering wheel as you guys are used to. All right, this one does not have the carbon fiber trim on the steering wheel, but you can get that on the Quadrifoglio models of Alfa Romeos. Now with that said, you do have the red start button. It lets you know it is a Quadrifoglio model, but same exact layout, big Italian paddle shifters, column mounted there. All right, and your aluminum trim piece in the middle that looks a lot better like this over the 2020 models that's just my opinion if you were to look into the center this is where the big difference is because no touch screen all right the touch screen is new for 2020 2019 you have to use your buttons down here to you know navigate through your screen and your screen does not have the touch screen interface all right with the graphical user interface that has the different apps and different you know selections as you can slide through press in push up and all that stuff it's in list format and this is what you're used to for previous model Alfa Romeos, all right? So this is one that, if you guys haven't seen it before, this is the old layout, all right? It has the carbon fiber trim, which looks really good, but it has the plasticky gear select for the HBZF transmission. Still a two-track system, park, reverse, neutral, drive, and then push over for manual, or just start pressing the power shifters, but push over for full manual. Almost the same setup for the buttons, just a different layout. Um, so what you'll notice is there's no Italian flag there, all right, there's no little pockets on the side for the parking brake and for, you know, the key fob to set your key fob, there's nothing there. Your parking uh, brake is right there for your electric parking brake. Um, it feels a lot different for quality-wise on the buttons. The 2020 has a lot stiffer buttons, they feel a lot different. So toggle switch on the drive mode selector, so you have the little red indicator there, all right, and wherever you move it is wherever your drive mode is and it stays there. It doesn't flip back over like the 2020 models all right you'll notice when i put it in dynamic mode the dampers come on but i can make a soft damper active by just pressing that button and everybody's favorite mode race mode which opens up those valves but in dynamic mode the valves will open past 3000 rpms in race mode they're open automatically all at the same time i know you guys wanted an active exhaust uh, for 2020 and also you wanted a traction control off button when you put it in race mode Traction control is off, everything's off, but that's the only way you can get it to turn off for ESC and everything there. Um, for dynamic mode, it's the same way. It's the oh, you know, Q4 all-wheel drive system. So it's one of those things to where they didn't improve these two things on the 2020 model, but it's very subjective in case you know some people don't want it, some people do. You never can please everybody. Doors to cover the cup holders, same thing that you see in 2020 models. HVAC vents, dual climate control there, uh, carbon fiber everywhere all throughout the dash there. The extended leather, so you have the leather up top on the dash, the stitching going across. You have right here on the seats, the Alcantara seats, all right, the Nero stitching, Nero Alcantara, Nero seats, and you have the thigh support as well. Um, you can see he really didn't have anybody sitting in this seat because it looks really good. And actually the, pa or the driver's seat looks pretty good too. And I'll show you when I get out in a minute. Um, actually, let's go over here so you can see the door paneling where you see how well that's held up. He did a good job with keeping this nice and clean because this is a high traffic area where a lot of scratches will occur from getting in and out of the vehicle being a driver. But you'll see extended leather up top, stitching going across, carbon fiber trim going all the way across, aluminum there for the door handle, aluminum Harman Kardon sound system, and you have your leather going across for the armrest here with the Nero stitching as well. Everything that you're used to in Alfa Romeo models, just a little bit more sharpened up with the Quadrifoglio. Speaking of sharp, look at these sharp death pedals here. All right, very aggressive as you've seen from Alfa Romeo before. And that side sill, 
all right the quadrifolio leaf the clover leaf there so you know that this is a special model whenever you get inside of this thing same odometer that you're used to and tft screen is a little bit less in quality compared to the 2020 models which they spruced up a little bit and you will see that quadrifolio color leaf there as well just to show you again that you're in something a little bit different than the others can you guys see it 5648 miles that's it man after a year now keep in mind you guys do get the driver assistance packages as you can see the blind spot mirror there you can see the triangle you probably can't see it but anyways you can see the lane departure warning everything like that you do get the driver assistance package but it is not level two autonomous driving so there will be no steering wheel input on this stovio all right that means no electric steering no moving you and assisting you but it's more warnings all right lane departure warning four collision warning everything is a warning for 2020 they have assistance things will assist you will help you drive the stovio is raw driving for 2019 pure steering wheel input again we talked about when we drove the 2020 stovios that this is the way to go if you're talking about full control of the vehicle because I feel like 2020 do lose some of that aggressiveness in the steering but with that said if you've never driven any of the previous model quadrifolios you won't notice the difference because it's really based on driving both of them back to back and kind of noticing the difference it's not one of those things to where it's a deal breaker because it still has incredible steering for 2020 often knows what they're doing it just feels a lot more responsive and sharper with the previous model years before we hop in the back, just check and see how well this Alcantara seat held up on the Julia Quadrifolio after the 5,600 miles. It really did well. The leather did well. Not much stress cracking at all. And the Alcantara looks good. So, you know the driver took care of it. Not bad. Hey, I commend him. But let's get to the back seat so you guys can see all the great materials and everything that you'll get in the rear as well. Same style door paneling in the back. All right, leather up top. Nero stitching, carbon fiber, aluminum. All right, no Harman Kardon aluminum speaker there, but you do have your speaker at the very bottom, and you have the leather with the contrasted stitching there. And then we step inside, where you still get the quadrifolio side still in the back as well. All right, you hop in here, and you'll get your turbine style vents, you'll get your USBs right there for charging, and you'll get your stowage there. You also have the same Nero seats, all right, with the Nero Alcantara, all right, going all the way through. Looks pretty good. I, like, again, I don't think that anybody really sat back here in the 5,000 miles it was used. Um, and then you have your cup holders there, which I missed that. Cup holders there, and all three seats do fall down, as we said before. So just pull that down, and you have your center feet through there, where you do have your floor mats for the front. But we'll pop that there, and we'll show you guys. The panoramic roof look at all that light that gets let in i mean wow this is a nice place to be very comfortable with the alcantara feels good on the leather and the seats i mean tons of room in the back no complaints for back here you got everything that you need as far as a passenger you got great quality materials with you and then you have a nice view of up front the quad has the same cargo space which is 56 cubic feet of cargo space when you do fold down these rear seats all right so you also have all three seats that fold down all right you have your floor mats for up front you have your speakers all right you have your triggers to put down those seats and you pull that tab for the center to go down a little cubby space on storage for there and then if i put the carpet here lift up you'll see right underneath your tools your cargo net all right your inflate kit there your rails there all right and then you also have in the center if i can hold this right your battery all right so your battery there cargo rails everything here that you would need in order to make a safe trip maybe a long distance trip maybe you know just be prepared for anything to happen on the road and we can't forget about privacy you do have a removable cover here for privacy you also have this here for a little bit of privacy as well just make sure that all your belongings are safely stored away so before i tell you guys how much this quadrifolio costs let me tell you guys what the owner traded it in for remember he had one julia quadrifolio and trofeo white that he crashed the second julia quadrifolio that he traded in for this and then he traded in this stovio quadrifolio for a jeep that is right he went from this to a jeep no jeep track hawk no nothing like that a jl jeep something completely different completely on the opposite end of the spectrum 
from a Stelvio Quadrifolio. So with that said, he went through three Quadrifolio models and maybe decided, you know, hey, it's Daytona Beach. I want to, you know, live that rugged Jeep life and, you know, just chill. So, hey, I can't blame him for it, but I mean, wow, I don't know if I could get rid of this beauty and go to the Jeep life, but hey, stuff happens. Why not, you know, hey, experience any kind of cars you want, have fun with life, drive everything. You guys probably want to know the price of this now. 69,000 US dollars for a 2019 Stelvio Quadrifolio. After 5,648 miles, that's what you can get it for. 80,000 brand new, $69,000, about $11,000 off, give or take. I mean, what do you guys think? Is it worth that price? for what you get out of this vehicle. All right guys, so let me know, what do you think about the 2019 Alfa Male Stelvio Quadrifolio with white wheels, Trofeo white wheels, Volcano black spec, $69,000 used with only 5,000 miles on it. Can you guys believe it? That is something that, I mean, hey, if you're in the market for something used, like I said, this was $80,000 brand new and now it is $69,000, that is crazy. And you get a one-off spec, but again, if you guys do not like this spec and you think that the wheels ruin it, definitely let me know. Do you guys like the wheels or do you hate the wheels? I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comments below. And do you think that $69,000 is a great price or is it too much for a used quadrifolio with 5,000 miles on it. Let me know, I wanna hear from you guys. Now with that said, if you guys wanna help support the channel, always check the links down below. The links down below will show you my PayPal and I'll give you a one-time donation through PayPal where you guys can donate a dollar or two to the channel. You can also be a Patreon monthly subscriber as well. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And when you give this video a thumbs up, it helps get the video up in the rankings, more people can see it, and we can have a bigger discussion on this unicorn used of your quadrifolio. Now with that said, if you guys also want to check out the links down below, I have my Ron's Rise merch where you can do the Ron's Rise t-shirts, Ron's Rise hoodies, stickers, coffees, mugs, everything like that. Make sure you check that out if you want to support the channel or just check out the social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, all that good stuff where I'm posting the Alfa Romeo, Maserati, Ferrari content, everything car related goes there. Now with that said, you guys subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so you can get these videos straight to your inbox and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.